The upper back is an area where we can hold a lot of tension, the upper back and neck actually. So the next, the next hold that I'm going to show you is to support the upper back and the shoulder blades to feel like they're supported so that they can relax a bit. Now, this one you can really gauge whether you want to use one hand or two hands. So if you're going to use one hand, you want to actually place it in the middle of the back, so between the two shoulder blades. Again, you need to check your pressure. So once I put my hand on, I'm really going to let my fingers relax and my wrist and all the way up to my elbow. So we want to make sure that there's no tension in my arm connecting to her back. So the more relaxed I am, the more relaxed her back can become and sink into my hand. And this can just provide a really nice feeling of support. And, and that's what touch is, to provide a feeling of support. So this is a one hand option. You can actually use both your hands. So you can place them in the middle of the back like that. You can see that my thumbs are nearly touching and my fingers are splayed a little, but not too much. And again, I wanna now make sure that both of my hands and wrists and arms completely relax. So you could kind of imagine them going ugh, like this, like, like your hands are taking an exhale is a, a good way to explain it. And you can even say to your touch recipient something like, okay, Shami, just let your back relax into my hands. And I can really feel her back respond right away. So sometimes including these lovely little verbal cues or suggestions when you touch can be really powerful for having the body to respond even more deeply. So you could just sit like this at home, in front of the TV or looking at the stars, whatever it is you want to do and, and just engage in this, in this really supportive hold. Because we are kind of sitting like this, it may not be a hold that you do for so long, but it can really, really help someone's upper back relax and can help their breath capacity to increase as well because the lungs are, are under this part of our body. We can decide to switch up this hold a little bit and work with both the back and front. So I'm going to show you that. And this is a, another really beautiful and supportive hold that we can do. So we're going to have one hand at the back and one hand at the front, create this lovely supported almost sandwich. So you can decide how you're gonna place your hand, whether it's up or down. For me, I find it uh, the most comfortable, which is really important to just place it on the side between the shoulder blades. Take a minute or a moment once you've placed the back hand on to then really gently come in and approach the front. When we approach the front of the body, we want to be even more mindful and even more gentle with the approach um, and, and how slowly we, we come into contact. And you can really feel that when you're holding the front and the back, it provides this extra layer of support and security. And I can really feel her system starting to respond. You can even invite a person in this hold to just breathe in really gently. And automatically, Shami's body is just doing that, going with that verbal cue. And I can feel muscle release happening between my fingers. Again, I'm making sure both my arms and hands are very, very relaxed and soft. And I'm also noticing that my breathing and her breathing are starting to come together a little. And when you notice that's happening, you know that it's a very, very resonant hold that's going on. And I'm just gonna check in, how are you feeling with this hold? Very relaxed and comfortable. Mm. How does it feel to have a hand in the front and in the back? Very comforting, almost stabilizing. Mm, they're really good words, comforting and stabilizing. Mm. Adding a hand to the front and really holding both sides of the body can provide this incredible sense of security and support a lot of really great processes uh, starting to occur in the body. So adding this front hand is something that you can do with any of the other holds I've shown you where we're sliding hands under the body. So once you've slid one hand under and gotten really comfy, you can very gently place a hand on top and increase the feeling of security that starts to arise in your touch recipient's body.